Happy Monday Year 5 and you'll be glad to know maths is a little bit more straightforward than it has been over the last week. So we've got one takeaway to fit here. So I've got this bar model to show one whole. Well remember the denominator tells us how many parts there are to the whole. So there must be five parts. I'm going to try my best to draw five equal parts. One, two, three, four and five. So I've got one hole there. So I've got my one whole cake here. I'm going to take away two slices of that cake, two fifths of that cake. Okay, so I've taken away two fifths. So what am I left with? Well, I'm left with three fifths. Okay. And you'll no notice the denominator has not changed. So here now I've got three quarters take away one fifth. Well, just as we've been looking at over the last couple of weeks, the denominators have to be the same. So again, I think of common multiples, 5, 10, that's not in the 4 times table, 15, not in the 4s, 20, yes, that's in the 5 and 4 times table, so that would be my common denominator there. And I think again, 4 times what equals 20? Well, it's 5. So whatever I do to the denominator, I must also do to the numerator. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 4 gave me 20, uh, sorry, 5 times 4 gave me 20. So 1 times 4 is 4. Okay? So now I have 15 twentieths. So let's shade those 15 parts in. Let's use a different colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I've got my 15 twentieths there. I'm going to take away four twentieths. So let's take a look at what that looks like. taken away 4 twentieths, that gives me 11 twentieths. Remember, the denominator is how many parts there are to the whole, and the numerator is how many parts we have. That is why the denominator is not changing, it's the numerator that's changing, the amount that we have. So here now, got another uh, subtraction one here. We've got to give our answer in the simplest form. We've got to simplify. So again, two and I've, I've got half, take away three ninths. Two different denominators. I need to come up with a common denominator. So I think of, well, nine, that's not in my twos because it's odd. Eighteen, yes, that is a common multiple of two and nine. So I use eighteen as my common denominator. 2 times 9 gave me 18. So remember, whatever I do to the denominator, I must also do to the numerator. 1 times by 9 gives me 9. 9 times by 2 gave me 18. 3 times by 2 gives me 6. So now I've got 9 eighteenths take away 6 eighteenths. My answer will be 3 eighteenths. And now I think what common factor do 3 and 18 share? Well, the answer is 3. So I divide both parts by 3 to give me the. Uh, to give me a simplified fraction. 3 times, uh, divided by 3 is 1. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So my answer in its simplest form is 1, 6. Again, if you're stuck, 
uh, log into Google Classroom and we'll try and help you out as much uh, there as we can. Best of luck.